Hello everyone. I'm gonna try to do this as short as possible. Um, just got home. Was debating on my way over here whether to do this or not. He said, "You know what? Hell with it. I'm gonna do it anyways." <laughs> my name is Luis. I live here in Memphis, Tennessee. I'm originally from Puerto Rico, born and raised, and somehow I end up here. Anyway, I work for this transportation company. We do freight all over this plane. Um, my job is a, I'm a senior agent for the International Trace Department. And basically what I do is I, I help customers that have issues, mainly in customs with, uh, with their freight uh, abroad, all over the place. Um, I, can, I can honestly say that tracking this shipment from point A to point B, uh, it doesn't show me that we live on a spinning ball, flying to Cosmos at a ridiculous speed. <laughs> Make no sense. Make no sense at all. Um, what? What? It does show me that we're definitely living on a plane. If you follow Mark Sargent, then I will be one of the subject matter people. Uh, I wrote him an email. Uh, it was actually an, an example of something that I have to deal with it every day. Uh, in this case, was a shipment going from Oakland to Guam. If you have a globe, the obvious route will be from Oakland to Hawaii, then to Guam. Um, but that is not how it goes. Um, I will say that more than 95% of the shipment going from the States to anywhere in, the, in Asia or the Pacific, instead of going through Hawaii, which will make sense on a globe, they go through Alaska. Um, on a globe, it really doesn't make any sense at all. Talking logistic, um, fuel efficiency, it just doesn't make any sense. And being a transportation business, that's one of the main things uh, try to uh, lower cost of fuel. Um, but if you see this route, or any route, for that matter, on a flat earth map, regardless of which one you like, uh, it's almost a straight shot. It makes sense. Uh, the issue that I have with the, this, this particular case was the, the shipper was, she was upset because the package got late uh, to Guam, to a destination. And uh, she was tracking it and uh, she saw that package was in Alaska and then went to Japan and then went to Guam and to her it didn't make any sense okay so again I was just gonna say hey lady just put a flat map and you will see that uh, you know that's the way it goes anyways um, other thing was shipment going out of uh, South America uh, dealing with customs all over. Uh, I have this particular agent that I always go to whenever I have an issue in Argentina. And I, I knew the answer, but I asked him anyway out of curiosity. And I say, hey, any, any package that go from this case, Argentina, that, go, that have to go to Europe or Africa or Australia, uh, what route do they take? And they say, anything that comes out of South America, it will come here to the States and then go to the destination. Uh, you can argue that uh, they need to come here to clear customs. No, they don't. You're going to clear customs at the destination. Uh, you can argue that they come here to get more freight. Latin American market is so huge that it makes no sense for them to come here and then go wherever they need to go. Uh, they can go straight shot from there to whatever. Um, 
But if you put it on a flat earth sample uh, package that is going to go to um, Europe, uh, it makes more sense coming straight to the States and then to Europe, whatever part of Europe. Uh, or to Africa for that matter. Still come here, go to the Europe, and then go to their destination. Um, we shall now flat earth make more sense uh, shipment that go from uh, South America to Asia you got it they come here to the States go through Alaska and then go to the final destination there's no flight out of South America anywhere than here uh, which that proof that we live on a flat surface? Maybe not to you, but me seeing it every day in and day out, it really does. Once you start, you need to uh, understand that once you start awaking, not only to this, but to everything around you, uh, you, you will see it. It will it will feel right. Um, it's uh, to me it has been I've, I've been into conspiracies and you know again going through the same people Alex Jones whatever Jeff Rains Freeman Fly you name it and uh, I'm from them you. Take what you feel or think is right and then leave the rest. Uh, I don't look into conspiracies anymore. Because uh, uh, this is it. Um, and you need to remember that when you're starting to be awake and you see all these false flags or disasters that are happening all around you, um, our job, once you're awake, is just to observe. We observe and we look how the rest of the people react. All these full flags and events that happen around us, um, they keep happening because of your reaction. Once you stop reacting to them, it will stop, or it will get better. Um, anyways, uh, I do have a Google community, since it's Google, it's called Flat Earth 2016. Um, in there, what I do is I see what's around on YouTube and try to get... Uh, uh, I posted uh, short videos mainly. Uh, I mean, if if, if, it's, if they're good and they're longer, then I'm gonna put them too, of course. And um, I, being on it, I did it like a, two months ago, something like that. I almost have like a hundred members, which is <laughs> cool. And uh, it's it's happening. And uh, so. This is gonna be my two cents. Probably you won't see me anymore uh, on a video. And uh, so everyone, just take care.